So the inner world of gemstones, the importance is probably also in the roots of, of the family for a long time. My great-grand-uncle Edward Gublin was already very much fascinated by the inner worlds of, of colored gemstones. He discovered the inside and, and realized that when you dive into colored gemstones that you can actually see fantastic shapes and, and, and colors inside. And then based on that, he was able to find out where colored gemstones come from. For our brand, we use the inspiration from within the gemstone from the inclusions. We then try to design the jewelry piece around these shapes. We get inspired by nature and bring these beautiful shapes alive and allow our customer to wear them on a daily basis. Inclusions, that's a wonderful topic for two reasons. Um, they tell us a lot and they are beautiful. So let me first uh, elaborate on the, on the importance. You know, um, gemstones, they grow in the depth um, of the earth, you know, in the lower crust or in the upper mantle. And when a gemstone is forming, this is obviously the result from specific chemical situation, geologic, geochemical environment. It is the result of certain pr uh, pressure conditions, temperature conditions, maybe certain fluids that are migrating through the rock. And the growing crystal is, um, is um, encapsulating some other parts than only the crystal uh, while growing. So there are, these inclusions are in fact witnesses of the time, of the conditions that were prevalent at the time of the formation, many, many million years ago. And they are basically now um, frozen into the crystal. And when we look at the gemstone today, that is now at the surface, that is now in a, in a piece of jewelry, we can basically go back in history 20, 100, 500 million of years, sometimes more than 2 billion years of uh, years, and look into the stone, and the stone tells us by the nature of its inclusion, by the aspect of its inclusions, what the conditions were at the time. So this is a, a wealth of information that we as gemologists can take out from these inclusions. It helps us determining the authenticity and identity of the stone. It helps us determining where the stone is coming from, from which geologic setting. And it also helps us to see whether maybe the stone has been subjected by men to some kind of treatment. So there's a lot of information that we can uh, get out from the stones. That's the first side. The second part is the, is the, um, the aesthetics. It is beautiful to look into stones, you know, so looking into the microscope, into the stone, diving into this world is a fantastic experience. And it also, um, that's the beauty about colored gemstones in general, they have inclusions, you know, and this gives individuality to these stones. It's not like a diamond, which is, you know, you can have plenty of D flawless diamonds, perfect quality, but they are so interchangeable, whereas every colored gemstone is unique. You know, no single gems, colored gemstone has the same inclusions as the other one. So that gives kind of personality almost to the stones, which I believe is fascinating beyond the science. At Gubel in Jewelry, we're deeply inspired by the beauty of gemstones. And uh, each gemstone has its unique character and uh, its unique patterns. I uh, would like to go deeper on one uh, example, for instance, uh, our uh, beautiful, unique piece, uh, Royal Pagoda, which has a, a four carat uh, Rui from Burma. There um, we saw in the inclusion a geometric pattern that led the designer uh, to interpret this uh, pattern in a flow of uh, um, diamonds that are holding the center stone, the ruby. Uh, within our deeply inspired design approach, we always look first uh, into the inner beauty of the stone and take pictures from all different angles and then also think of where the stone is coming from and uh, then uh, find some inspiration from nature, provenance and the patterns within the stone. With uh, Royal Pagoda, uh, for me, um, this is a great example how you uh, can uh, create a majestic uh, piece that can adorn any woman who would love to have a ruby ring.